Hey! You guys make stuff? Yeah, we can do that. We get started on it right away. Thanks for the order. Welcome back to the channel. This week in the shop, we're building an exercise rack, a squat rack, a bench press rack, all of the above, I guess, for a client. And here you just see us, we're taking some three inch by three inch, some 120 wall, and we're cutting it to length so we can throw it up on the table and start boring out some of those holes. Now I don't remember how many holes we ended up cutting in these, but there's one for each side because there's going to be a pin that goes from the one side all the way through to the other. That pin's going to be attached to the J hook or J bracket that will actually hold the bar, either the squat bar or the bench press bar, and all those holes will make it super adjustable. You can put that thing wherever you want depending on how tall you are or how big you are. Here we're cutting out some quarter inch by three inch, just some flat strap. And this is what we're gonna use to make the brackets for those, those J hooks or those J brackets. So we'll cut them out, throw them on the table, use a table to cut some holes into it, and then we'll weld it all together. Here we need multiple pieces of the same length. So here I'm just lining them up and cutting them off with this slugger. Then we throw them up on the bench, use our magnetic clamp and get them cleaned up, knock off some of that dross that comes from the table. It's not a whole lot with this quarter inch, it actually cuts it really nice. Here we're just laying it out because we gotta make those flat straps into J's. So we lay out where we're gonna put our bends, where we want our bends, and then we'll use our brake, adjust it out for a quarter inch piece, and then bend it up to the shape that we want. Once it's been up into that shape, we use those other pieces that what I that we cut out, and now we're making the actual clamp part of this J hook. As we're welding up these J hooks or these J clamps, we didn't reinvent the wheel here. This is the same setup, the same design that other manufacturers use to do the same exact thing. We're just putting our little bit of a touch on it and making it our own. And we're using our Miller 251 to weld these up. This is quarter inch. Everything about it is quarter inch. So our settings are 18.5 volts and 250 inches per minute with 0.035 wire. And for me and for us, that seems to work out really good. And there's the two pieces, the left and the right. Just gonna head them over here to the grinder and clean them up just a little bit, get them ready for paint. So now we're cutting the brackets for the pull-up bar. That's quarter inch thick. And there it is. We take a piece of inch and a quarter tubing, 120 wall. We mate those together, weld it all up. And that's what will hold the top of this folding squat rack apart. And double as a pull-up bar.
Those similar to the J-hooks will attach to those uprights with a 5 8 inch thick pin. Now this video was so long and I wanted to make sure that I got all of it. I wanted to show you guys the finished product after it's painted so we decided to make this into two parts. This is part one and part two will be next week. So here we're cutting the standoffs. Now this is the part that's going to attach to the wall bracket and then we weld it to those uprights. This is the part that will actually hold, stand it off or hold it off from the wall and where it will pivot. So we set up a little jig on the table because we have to repeat this one, two, three, four times and we just set it up, reset it each time and then hit go on the, on the machine and it will cut it off cut it out, I'm sorry, exactly at the same spot each time. We did a similar jig for those uprights for all of those holes because there's holes on each corresponding side of those and they all need to line up. So now I'm just taking those standoffs and tacking them in place on those uprights and we'll get them all welded up. I'm not sure, maybe some of you have noticed, maybe some of you haven't, but we leave these Easter eggs in our videos. We'll have hidden somewhere in the video two subscribe messages, and then we've recently added uh, an Easter egg of our dog. So, if you're interested and you haven't noticed them, go back and try to find them. Here we're just laying out that upper standoff and getting it all squared up and getting that one ready to weld as well. It's important because these things are going to pivot to a bracket that's bolted to the wall. That one that they're straight, two that they're square to the three inch tubing and equal to each other. Also that when you're not using this, you can fold it flat up against the wall out of the way. And that's going to wrap it up for this week. Tune in next week for the exciting conclusion in part two. And once again, thanks for watching.